than Suicide Squad. This movie wasn't just made for women. This movie was made for everybody. You're all liars. This movie is garbage. It's a garbage movie. Birds of Prey and the Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, or as the studios are demanding you call it now, Harley Quinn Birds of Prey. I guess that kind of rolls off the tongue a little better, doesn't it? This is the nonstop story of Harley Quinn, surrounded by men, nasty men, trying to hold her and the other women of Gotham down. And it's also about how much better the world would be if there were no men at all. Well, it doesn't go that far, but you get my point. This movie was borderline insufferable, and I want to address right up front that I know this movie was not explicitly made for me. I know that this is a movie about women, made by women, for women, with the purpose of empowering women. I'm fine with that, but you should also aim to make that movie at least decent. I mean, The Devil Wears Prada wasn't made for me either, but I love that movie. It's genuinely a great movie and probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I don't care about runway or fashion or relationships, but I like it because it has a compelling story and it was made really well. Birds of Prey, however, was a mess. Structurally, this thing is about as sound as that rope bridge from Shrek. The only thing more irritating than Harley's constant narration were the incessant flashbacks. Just when you thought you were making progress in the story, taking just a small step towards those welcoming end credits. Flashback! They didn't even add anything to the story with the exception of Huntress's backstory. Everything that Harley showed to us in those flashbacks, she could have shown to us the first time that we watched the scene. We aren't cutting back to three years ago, or a month ago, or when she was a kid. We are cutting back to literally the same scene we just saw five minutes ago. I suppose you can make the argument that the story is scattered and jumbled because that's the way that Harley's brain works, which makes sense, but it doesn't make me like the movie anymore. If you think these are funny, or if you've ever dressed like this, then you are their target audience. Oh my God, when she dropped that sandwich and she cried over it, I could relate. That's like something I would do. This movie is the embodiment of the LOL so random culture of almost a decade ago. This movie is trying its best to be funny, but it just comes off as cringy and outdated. Like I said before, the moral of this story is men are bad and they waste no time with ramming it down your throat. There is one thing that this movie and the character Harley Quinn have in common, and that is that they have no grasp on the concept of subtlety. The opening of this movie is Black Canary singing It's a Man's World inside of the Black Masks Club. Just in case you didn't get it. Almost every man that you run into in this movie is extremely misogynistic. It reaches a point where it just becomes tiresome and predictable. You can have a female dominated movie that tackles these issues in a fun and empowering way, but to repeatedly beat you over the head with it makes it lose a little bit of its power. The only thing that I can say I enjoyed about this movie were the fight scenes. Yeah! They were fun. They were badass. They were what this movie should have been the entire time. What is the point of the Fortnite crossover event if you're gonna make your movie rated R? How are these little kids gonna see your movie? I guess I just don't get the point. I'm gonna give The Birds of Prey and the Emancipation of My Patients a two out of 10. Stay away from this one like the plague.